Hello, how are you? This is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. I decided to jump into another challenge. I know, why? <laughs> but I love these because it really pushes me to um, try something different and really pushes me outside of my comfort zone, which I have been notorious for staying in. So the challenge I'm going to be doing is called 2022 Collage Challenge. This is hosted by Julie at Art and Junk Journals with Julie and by Leah from Leah's Art Studio. I will have both of their channels linked below. So for February, I will post what the prompts are in my description box so you can kind of see them as I'm like kind of working with this. So the prompts are, the style is shabby chic, theme is story time, Color is green or teal, paper, textured, embossed, shiny, or metallic. I'm assuming that it means or. <laughs> uh, focal is person, marks, dots, dashes, patterns, shape, rectangle, square, oblong. And then you can swap or bonus scrapbook paper, stationery, digitals, or computer paper. So I am going to do this first collage in this junk journal I recently finished and I still haven't done any pages in besides, I did the napkins on these pages, but that was before I sewed them in. Um, and I made this pocket, which I have to decide what page to put that on. I was going to do a little book like for the Margaret Miller challenge, but I want to be able to use texture with these collages that we do for this challenge. So I'll be including them in junk journals, maybe just not in any particular order. So yeah, so let me show you what I have in mind. And then just like the Margaret Miller videos, I will be speeding them up because I'm already kind of like not sure <laughs> what how it's going to work out. Okay, so for my paper textured embossed shiny metallic, I'm going to use some of this tissue paper. This came in my order of a small junk turtle from Crystal at Vividly on paper, and it's absolutely gorgeous, metallic-y tissue paper. Focal for person, I have a few pulled out and I thought maybe because it was like story time with children, I picked two of the Tim Holtz paper dolls out. Marks, you guys know, I'm obsessed with this dot stamp I found. So I will be doing some dots. Maybe we'll add some dashes. Yeah, I'm not really sure. We'll have to see what it looks like. And then shape. So shape for square rectangle oblong, I decided to use this bunny. I have a two different sizes. I'm not sure the larger one is gonna work. We'll have to see. But I thought for a children's like kind of story time, it would be cute having like a little bunny like Peter Cottontail, something like that. Color is green and with Shabby chic, I think of like pink flowers and green. I pulled this out of a Country Living magazine I was getting for a while and just, I'm glad I kept them because I've really been pulling from some of those for some of these collages. So that is what I will be doing for green. So as far as, I haven't really decided what page yet, but I do want to maybe, add in some scrapbook paper that's green. And I picked up this country floral from, I think Joanne Fabrics. And this page with, it's like fake wood print with some lettering on it, this cream. I don't know if you can even see that on camera. And the back of it too, to me is really that shabby chic. Most of this paper pad, reminds me of shabby chic. Um, but this is the one I'm kind of thinking of using kind of as green scrapbook paper. That's where I'm at. <laughs> and then they say at the bottom, you can add anything you need to finish the collage, which I'm really glad about that because it's kind of like, like the Margaret Miller ones. It's just like, it, it's just gonna need something else, I think. 
yeah, so that's where I'm at. This printable and this one I will link below. These are from Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. And first let's look here. What I'm thinking of is this page or this side. Once I get this kind of tore out, we'll kind of see because I kind of like it on this side and maybe have some of this page gone. Maybe have the bunny down here to cover up some of that and use some of that other green paper up there with some of this as far as the person. And honestly too, when I lay this down, I'm not even quite sure I like that. I'm very <laughs> undecided about this and I kind of just want to go for it and just kind of see what happens because these are kind of so small. I really just don't think they're really the focal point. You know what I mean? I think it just needs to be something else. Ugh. I really thought I had it nailed down, but now I'm just kind of not taking it. I also thought about this tag. Oh, look at this lace too. This lace paper is super pretty. That's a possibility at your library. Ooh. Okay, so maybe this is out. We need to make it shabby though somehow. Okay, I am going to go ahead and speed this up and then we'll talk about my struggles <laughs> when we come back. Okay, I'm done. I have a mess. <laughs> I ended up adding some of these mica sprays as dots. Well, I hadn't opened them yet. And I kind of pulled the lid off and I was like, oh, I need to shake it. The lid wasn't on all the way and it wasn't too horrible, but <laughs> I'm just glad it didn't go all over the room because, oh my gosh. Anyway, so 
I love how it turned out. I think it's really cute. It was just, man, I'm probably gonna have to cut out a lot of that video because it was a struggle. It was a struggle. I just wasn't really liking anything. Nothing was really fitting right as I was going along. I tell you, when I, when I craft, when I'm stressed or got my mind on something, not necessarily upset, but like, you know, when like you've just got something on your mind and you're just, you just can't concentrate on anything else. That's how I felt doing this. <laughs> So I don't know. I kept having to look back at the prompt to make sure I even had everything. So I still think it's shabby chic. Story time, you know, the kids and the bunny. <laughs> so the green kind of changed to the scrapbook paper. That's what I decided to use as my green paper. Still stuck with the tissue paper. And I really like how that looks kind of scrunched on there. Person. There they are, persons, persons, uh. Um, and then I did the dashes for like stitching around the side and then dots, pattern, I, I don't know. I mean, to me, those are a pattern, right? <laughs> and then for like, to just kind of finish it out, I did grow because if it was like a children's story, whatever, it was like, you know, grow and whatnot and Looks like the mica sprays are dry now, but oh, I put this in behind it to help me stamp. But I think it's cute. I'm looking forward to seeing the next prompt um, <laughs> to see if I struggle, struggle with that one too. But make sure you check out the hosts of the challenge. Their channels are linked below. But if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!